<sighs> I did not think I'd let myself look like this on YouTube. However, um, I showered before I went to bed last night. And while my hair has some, like, excellent volume, uh, it's looking a little, a little bit like the Cowardly Lion. like this this is better than what it was all right I did not finish my video from yesterday uh and I did not show you what I got when I was out with Ashley so I figured I'd do that real quick all right so when I, we went to TJ Maxx um I found this skirt um it's from Catherine's and it's actually from Catherine's black label Anyways, it's a faux leather skirt in this, like, plum color. Um, I bought it actually in two sizes. I got a 26-28 and a 30-32 because I couldn't tell, like, to what extent this would be stretchy. Um, the 26-28 fits perfectly. It was $10. It's a plum pencil skirt, faux leather. Um, so I'm going to end up returning the 30-32. $10. Yes. So, got that at TJ Maxx at Target. I'm going to try out some press on nails mostly because I plan to do like the reason that I haven't shown my apartment a lot right now is because it's a mess. It's a mess. I have been neglecting it. It's a mess. Ooh, kind of like my hair. So I want to clean a lot this week and get my stuff, you know, decluttered. I have so much stuff. Um, but I need to do a picture for the wine company. I thought, let me try on some press-on nails. Like, I don't want to get my nails done or do my nails. I can't paint my nails very well. And then I ruin them by cleaning a lot. Gorilla Glue, the usual. Found these earrings from A New Day. Um, they're like, you know, these hoops with, hoops with, uh, hmm interesting i'm noticing that there's like a space where they've glued this down can you see it and it's like bub, bub and there's like space underneath it we'll see if that pops up basically it's got some kind of acrylic that creates a like you know shimmery effect over gold plate um you know fake gold plate well that kind of stinks i think it's fine you can just obviously tell where the glue is i don't think anyone would notice this with me wearing it the question is would it pop out after a while um, but these were $7.99. I think I showed, I don't know if I showed on here, if I showed on, um, Instagram, but I had bought these, like, holiday earrings from Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar, and they had these little, like, lights on them, like, as if they're Christmas lights, and when the lights popped out, which is why I got, got the Gorilla Glue, so now I'm just kind of, like, Target, jewelry, get it together, we don't want to buy you, only for you to fall apart. Um, got some cleaning cloths from TJ Maxx. I think that's it. And then, um, I came home yesterday to packages. So, the first one, I told you guys I would ordered some more of those mellow, um, lip, liquid lip stuff. I got this on a 50% off sale. Alright, so they come in, you know, obviously a thing. This is Tehran. This is the one I wear almost every day. Um, so if you watch my first day of Vlogmas and you see where I'm trying on lipsticks, you'll actually be able to see what this looks like on. But very pretty color. Kind of like rose-ish color. Not too red. Not too pink. Not too ashy. This next one is Ibiza and I think this one's a pinker color. Let's see. Oh, well, it looks a little bit more cool tone now that I'm opening it. No, it is more peachy. Peachy pink. That's pretty. And then the last one I got was Puerto Rico. And now this one looked like kind of brownish, um, brown cool toned. Yeah, it looks like coffee almost. Well, not coffee. It looks like, uh, chocolate with cream in it oh, I think I'm gonna like that actually though all right so that's um Puerto Rico so yeah been loving these gonna try 
I don't know which one I'm gonna wear today, but we'll see. I'll probably wear one of them. Then I had ordered stuff from Tarte during their Black Friday sales. So the reason I ordered straight from Tarte is because I needed shape tape. Shape tape was not on sale at Ulta. So I went to Tarte. And Tarte did have a sale on their stuff. Okay. So looks like I got some 50%, 15% off codes. Um, and they're pretty generic. So gift for you, gift for me, 15% off. And that's through January 15th um, at Tarte. I got... Of course, I don't just buy shape tape. That would be an unfortunate waste of shipping prices. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I did get my shape tape. I get this in fair, light, neutral. Haven't had this in a while. My dark circles are going to thank me. I'm excited about it. All right, and then I got this kit that was, like, multiple things. And one of the things I wanted in it was um, a blush. Okay. So, got a blush. This is in the color Exposed. Again, I kind of like these cooler tones. We'll see how that looks on my skin. And then, whoop, it had a couple other things with it that I could try. So, it also had Tarte Micellar Magic. Now, I would never buy, is it Micellar? Micellar Water Makeup Remover from a big company. I would always buy it from a cheap thing, honestly, but... It came in it. I'm I'm okay using it. It had the big ego um, mascara sample, and then base tape hydrating primer, which I really want to try because I have had a hard time with my makeup looking like cakey on my skin, and I think it's because partially like maybe it's just my skin's drying out and it's not like absorbing things correctly. So we'll try the hydrating primer. So that was from Tarte. Um, I can't remember what I spent. They don't have my receipt in there. Um, but I think the shape tape was like typically $27, which is so expensive for, I, I don't know if I'm right on that, but way too much. Um, and then it was probably around 18 or something when I bought it, which is still very expensive. But I tried some of the cheaper ones. I don't like them. I've tried the camo, like the e.l.f. camo. I tried... Um, I did try color pops. They're okay. I just got the wrong color. It's okay. It's not amazing to me, but it's not awful. I can work with it. I actually really like it cosmetics, but I, because it's so like thick, I only want to use it underneath my eyes. Um, and sometimes it's a little too drying. Okay. Ooh. The other thing I got was my, I'm a mess. My Lux Boxy Charm for the month. So December is one of the ones where they send you the Lux edition of Boxy Charm. I haven't looked at all what's in here, so let's get straight into it. All right, first thing is this Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist. I love setting mists. Um, cool. It says it glows, hydrates, energizes. I always need setting mists. This one. I've been using Elf's lately, but I've also liked NYX's Dewy Setting Spray, um, and those are very affordable. This one is by the brand N N Beauty, N Beauty, I N N Beauty, um, and it's thirty two dollars. So we'll see if if I can tell a difference between that and NYX. I will say I can see like in the mix, there's like some element of oil or something in there because you can see the bubbles up at the top of it. Um, sorry, I'm filming on my iPhone, so it doesn't have zoom. I just bought one of these, but that's okay. I, I use them every day. Um, a hair wrap towel, I love these. I use them every day, but I just bought some at TJ Maxx. I don't know where the box is, I wasn't really showing you. Um, those ones are $18 from Daily Concepts. I will say you can find them at TJ Maxx um, for really cheap. All right, this next one is the M Greengrass Dry Oil Spray Beach Air. All right. This comes in a glass bottle. Um, spray massage the oil directly onto your skin. For hair, spray the oil into your palms and run through the tips of your hair. For, for face, spray the oil into your hands and apply to face where needed. So this is a fast absorbing, absorbing dry oil spray quickly penetrates, delivering superior moisture. All right, so it's a moisturizing spray. Beach Air. Mm. 
Mmm. That smells really good. Made in America. Um, hmm. Multi-purpose oil spray. It says it's not going to make you feel greasy. I would definitely, like, wear this, like, yesterday when I was doing a no-makeup day. That would be great for that. All right, next thing is from Too Faced. This is the Rich and Dazzling High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. Looks like I got the color Crazy Rich. Um, this retails for $21. Interesting. I don't know if you can see it, but there's pink, but there's also like orange and lime green tones in this. I don't typically wear this kind of stuff. I almost opened it to like test it out, but now I'm like, should I just pass it along right away? You know what? I'm going to put this in the giveaway pile for whenever I hit 10,000 subscribers. I just don't wear, I don't wear glittery lip glosses, um, but someone else might enjoy it. All right, the next thing is cosmetics. Um, this is a facial roller. Funny, Ashley almost, Ashley was asking if I have one of these. Oh, this is different. Interesting. Do you see this? I was expecting one of those like um, jade rollers. Interesting. This looks very technologically savvy. All right, hexagon shaped facial roller is an innovative beauty tool used to improve the visibility of fine lines, enhance skin texture, and uplift fatigued skin. I will say, I got fatigued skin. I have a lot of texture here. These are from um, pimples, you know, back in middle school, but they're still there. Ooh, it's metal, so it's like super cold. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Sorry, I just saw a dog without a person. And in an apartment, you know, that's, that's not good. It looks like a wolf, honestly, but now that I look at it, it's definitely a dog. Oh my God. This is like super cooling. All right, so this part doesn't move and this part does move. And it looks like um, Lola's gonna be mad at this dog, by the way, now. All right, so this is just roller. This is just, you do this and it leaves it, um, your skin energized and the massaging to stones containing germanium powder. I don't know what any of this shit means. Tighten skin, energizes skin. This part is the handle, but also can be used as a massager. It just doesn't move. So this is like, you know, honestly, this feels awesome. I like it. Okay. Next thing. Oh, gosh. There's a lot in here. Cool. All right. LMS Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil. Um, fine line and wrinkles. Listen, this is $79. I'll take it. I got fine line and wrinkles. I'm about to be 32. Oh, that's really a pretty little package. I can smell the rose. Cool. Start using that today. Um, thank God I haven't gotten ready yet. I can do all this today. All right, the next thing is Ciate London's Confetti Highlighter. Um, I've been using Ofra's highlighter for a very long time. I just like the texture of it. Let's see. This one is $32. I wonder if it's the same color as the one I already have. So it's the Sun Kissed Glow. Oh. Interesting. This is very different than the highlighter I have. It has tones of, like my current highlighter is all white, but this has, you know, um, peaches and tans in it. Oh God, my hands are so dry. Honestly, it's a color I would use on my eyes because you see how much color is on it, but maybe in the summer when I'm tan, but that's got a lot of peach, tan, orangey tone to it that I don't think I'd want to put on my face. Next thing is, um, okay, the brand Fresh, which I do like, their Soy Face Cleanser. Hmm. It's an extra gentle gel cleanser. Takes away makeup, even mascara, without stripping the skin of essential moisture. All right, cool. Um, this one is $48 cleanser. Whew. 
I pay $48 for this box, so, I mean, the price of all these things, you know, added up is a lot. All right, last item is the Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. Now, this is what I think, like, BoxyCharm used to be famous for, is these palettes that come in interesting boxes. This is definitely interesting. It looks like a book, as, you know, an English nerd, I'm okay with it. Um... Little Briar Rose Palette. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, and it has a little mirror that looks like you're like, it's, it's you know, kind of a play off of, they have a Hans Christian Andersen quote in here. Okay, interesting. So, I don't have any of these blue shades, I don't think. And even some of the plums, like this Beauty and the Briar Rose. And this one, I don't have those already. So definitely some new, and the Kiss I don't have. Now, it's a little bit more adventurous than I typically get, but maybe it's to be cool accent colors. Um, so that's good, it's not, you know, colors I already have. Don't know the quality of that, but maybe I'll use it and get ready with it in my next video. Anyways, I gotta go. I gotta make myself look presentable. I gotta go rub oils in my face and make myself pretty. Hello, and welcome back for another Vlogmas. I took a shower before I went to bed last night, and this is what I woke up to. So, I always do my makeup before my hair, so let's go ahead and do that. And I have a lot of new things to try out if you watched my last video. You saw that. I have BoxyCharm Lux stuff to try out. Um, so let's just put this away for now and then get my face looking like a face. I haven't worn makeup in a couple days, so I'm kind of excited to put makeup on. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so I am gonna start with this LMS Rose Facial Oil. It says I put it on, massage three to four drops over the face and neck, and it also says if it gets into your eyes, you need to rinse it, so um, don't let it do that. Okay, so the dropper looks like it's a little bit bent, so you can put it easily on your skin, I guess. Ooh, okay. definitely has a rose I mean it's it's rose oil you're gonna get that rose scent some people hate the scent of rose I don't mind it I also hope that this would like you know it's gonna go on my skin and not be as strong as it is currently it's pretty strong then again I put it near my nose hmm okay so to me it feels like it's going into the skin pretty quickly um, it does feel nice it also feels like there's some residue left on my fingers. So I'm not sure how this is gonna play well with primer and makeup. Like I have a little bit of sheen to my fingers from the oil. So we'll see. Notice I still have Halloween decorations up. This is where I'm at in life. This is where I'm at in life. Okay. All right, so the next thing I wanna try is this hydrating primer from Tarte. This is called their base tape. Don't know what color it is, let's see. Comes in a little squeezy tube. Okay, it's like white lotion. Smells like good smelling sunscreen. You know, it has a little bit of that like coconut beachy scent to it. I will say this is an interesting texture for primer. So many primers I try on now are like so silicone or they're like oils so i kind of like that it's more like a lotion my nose area has just like been put through the ringer this week with me being sick so needs all the moisture i can get it feels nice. Again, I can feel it going in the skin really quickly. Um, 
I don't know how long this little tube will last me. We'll see. All right, I'm gonna use my typical foundation, which is um, Foera, and in the color Nude, 102 Nude. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our ups and downs, but when there's love, there's always... Okay, it appears to me that my foundation went pretty well over um, the primer and the oil. Like, it doesn't, it seems like it's pretty good. Going in with Shape Tape in Fairly Light Neutral. Haven't been able to use this in a while. Pretty excited. Because I mean, look, I mean, I have dark circles still. And then also, um, I mentioned before, but I have that pesky facial hair issue. Now I see some people like layer this. It's so thick. Um, like even this, it feels like a lot to me. And I didn't used to set, need like feel like I needed to set anything, but now I do feel like I need to set my makeup. I've been really enjoying um, this powder from Absolute New York. It's their translucent powder. Most powders make me feel crappy, like my skin feels crappy. This translucent powder is like truly really nice and light um i like it a lot it is just a setting powder it's not a brightening powder um it's not gonna do anything like that just gonna set areas of my makeup that are a little bit more liquid i tend to get like shine right here so put a little bit right there Okay, I think we're gonna go in with my Balika and Chloe palette from Becca that I showed a couple videos ago. Again, it has, um, whoop, has these colors in it. I'm gonna go in with the brown. I will say I've used this once so far, and it was lighter coverage, like lighter, um, what's the word, opacity than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna go in with just the brown at first. See, I thought it was gonna be like super dark on me, but it's really not, which is awesome. Um, the problem is I don't really feel like it also can be a bronzer for me. Um, so there's that. Also, I hate how the camera picks up shadows because I look way better in person, damn it. All right. Does have blush, I might come back to that, but I also have a new, uh, another blush to try. I'm very curious what this tart color looks like because it's kind of plummy. Okay, might use that. So my bronzer, I'm, I'm having, well, okay, I've used a couple different bronzers. I do have the Hula bronzer. However, I will say this is a little bit too like red for me. I almost, I, I, I need a little bit more of a cool tone. It does have this nice little brush that I like. And then I have, I really need to go get some more Physicians Formula. It's really the best one for me. Um, this one's from Revolution and it's a baked bronzer. The problem is it has sheen to it and I don't want sheen, I just want color. Um, This one at least doesn't have a ton of it. But dang, every bronzer I pick up has like gold and stuff and I don't want that. Okay, taking my big brush. This is a Morphe brush. Smoothing everything out. Let's try this Tarte blush. I think it's kind of like plummy. I'm not sure to what extent it's gonna show up on my face. Show it up. Can't tell if it looks like I have a bruise. 
but <laughs> we're gonna let that chill out for a second. Okay, storybook palette. I'm just going over to my family's house today, I'm going over to my sister Katie's house, but I am also finally taking that wine picture I've been talking to you guys about. I don't even know what I'm wearing today though. What do I wanna to wear today? Okay, there's actually a shirt that has all these colors in it. I think I'll wear that one. I haven't worn it yet, okay. I'm gonna go in with Thorn. Thorn is this like purpley shade right here. So I'm really bad at makeup, so this might give you anxiety. It is kicking up a little bit. All right, they're gonna go in with Grim. Grim is this darker color right here, right in the corner, but I feel like this brush is a little too fanned out. Ooh. This I never, I don't think I get the right angle. I'm gonna use my left hand. <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Why does this eye go out so much farther than this eye? Why? I promise I do my makeup every day. All right, I'm going with beauty. Let's see if I can cover some of this up. Ooh, that picked up a lot. I was like, I'm going over to my family's house. This is much more red tinted than it looks. It looks like it's gonna be purple, and that is not, it's cranberry. This feels like a lot, a lot of look to go play with my nephew. A lot of look. A lot of look even for the post I'm gonna do. Let's see if these lighter colors can bring some uh, balance. I'm basically taking Woodland, which is like a peachy color, and just putting it over the entire thing and trying to calm it down. I hate, I hate it all. I'm gonna take it off, bye. One second, I'm gonna take it off. Some days you just can't do eye makeup and that is today. It Cosmetics, let's come to the rescue here. Okay. All right, on today, let's say where I cannot handle doing makeup. Um, it's just better just take one color and put it on my lid. I'm gonna take Enchanted, which is like the most non-accidental color like the most easy to work with champagne and put it on my lid and call it a day i will say this palette kicks up a lot whenever you're using it yep boring but got the job done okay we're moving on and it is cold outside we gather around Gonna try the Big Ego Tarte um, mascara. That's a chunky brush. I find this to be very hard to use when it's my like this size of my entire eye. I'm gonna give that to my sister. I hate I hate brushes like that. Okay, so I'll use mine, which is the Luminous Feline from L'Oreal. This is. Basically the mascara I always use. By the way, I permed this set of lashes so I don't have to curl them anymore. I did an at home
perming. I'll probably do it again in a couple weeks. I can show it the process if you guys are interested. I was surprised by how easy it was. So far, so good. Did it two, two and a half, three weeks ago. I don't perm this one because it's just naturally very curly. And in fact, like right now, it's a little too curly. It's looking short because they're so curled in on each other. And I haven't looked up if it's okay to perm curly lashes, like if it'll make them straighten out or not, I don't know. Maybe you guys know, can you perm them the same way? Will it just give them the new shape that you set for them? If so, then I might perm both. Both next time. Which lip color do I want? This is the one I always wear, so I'm gonna pick one of these. I'm leaning towards a darker one. This is Mellow in Puerto Rico. Let's see what it looks like on lips. Gosh, this is so, so smooth. I like it. I love Mellow Cosmetics, man. This stuff is so good. So smooth, not thick. That was one, one tiny amount. Okay, so because my hair was looking like very lioness today, I kind of want to do like tight curls, but then pull them. Um, so I'll do that with you so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh, but let me do the setting spray real quick. This is that power up in beauty thing. We'll see how it ha what happens with it. It smells like lime jello. Not sure how I feel about that scent. Um, so to do the tight curls, I'm gonna have to get out one of my wands that has like multiple attachments. This is from Parwin Pro. I got it off of Amazon for Christmas last year. It has a bunch of different tops to them. I'm gonna pick this one, like I'm doing tight. Curl. The thing is, is that I don't want it to be like Shirley Temple. So the goal is to do it at like not the highest heat and then to immediately pull it long so that it's a tight curl, but it's a long curl. I realize I didn't put any highlighter on. I don't want to use a highlighter from, uh, I don't want to use a highlighter from my BoxyCharm because it was way too tan using Ofra puts just a little bit but not like blinding Rudolph Ten seconds, then pull. Last year I thought about how things can come around just like that if everyone is here to celebrate one day. We have our I'm gonna go watch some YouTube and I'll come back a little bit. So this is that moment in the process where I feel like Weird Al Yankovic. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. 
with this. I'm actually thinking that oil hairspray could maybe be good in getting some of this to like calm down. I went down to six seconds and pulled and the bottom always does it beautifully and I'm like yeah that's the kind of curl I want and the top's like nope you're gonna be Shirley Temple. So let me get some of that oil. Alright this is that M Greengrass Beach Air Oil which <laughs> smelled delicious anyway so now it did say to put this in the ends of your hair so I'm gonna start there and just see what happens. A little stringy now, a little stringy. So I just remembered that you're supposed to spray that stuff into your hand and then put it on your hair. So maybe my fault, oops. Not, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I use that gently. It's, I mean, it's oil, but I didn't think it'd look like that. I don't know if you can even tell, but like, it just looks a little stringy now. Okay. Do I want to put my hair up? Is this where we're heading with life right now? I think today, today's theme is questionable choices in styling. But I'm going to make it work. Like, I so want this to look good on me. I'm just not shirts happening yes every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday really wish I never put the oil in my hair. It's made everything look very stringy and gross. I don't like it. Um, I want to brush it out, but also know that that could do bad things. Oh, look how, like, it's just, that is so disgusting. Like, I'm, my hair's wet from that oil. I'm not using it again on my hair. Not impressed, not loving. I'm sure I went too hard, but like, this is not what I wanted for my hair today. Um, so that's disappointing. Yeah, not using that again. Gross. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do what I did. Don't use it. Disclaimer, I used it incorrectly. So don't use it incorrectly. And maybe it'll be nice. I don't think I've ever been like that disappointed in a product that quickly. Yeah, I do not like that at all. I don't know if I've said it emphatically enough. Don't use it. Your hair is going to feel like a grease pit. Don't use it. Don't use it. It's going to clump up. It's going to get stringy. Save yourself. All right. I need to go to my sisters. I'll see you there. Still looking a little bit of like a weird owl, but that's okay. I put the oil in my hair the wrong way. You're supposed to spritz it in your hand and then gently put it in there and not go. Lesson learned. I've uh, been at my sister's house playing with my nephew all afternoon, taking pictures for that wine thing that I was talking to you about. Um, and now we're going to go to Target. 
I've been to Target a lot lately. You know, it happens sometimes.